Hi, thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get your website onto the first page of Google search results, the search volume and traffic that these top sites are getting, along with the amount of new leads that will be coming directly to your business. Now to demonstrate this, I've just done a quick search here and I've taken some of the top companies that show up in the search results, as well as your own, and I put them all into this tool that I use and it shows me all the information that Google finds on your site that it uses to determine your position in search results and then rates its strength and trust on a scale of 1 to 100. So you can see just quickly from some of these numbers why these websites are outranking yours in the list. However, let me go in a little bit further detail on what these numbers mean and how you can improve them. Now, when Google is trying to determine in what order to rank a website on search results, it uses two different factors. The first is what's called the authority or trust that it has in your site. It basically boils down to a popularity contest. Now this authority is gained when other domains or websites refer back to yours and create a link. They act as endorsement that Google uses to build that trust because others are vouching for you. So to give you an example, if the local news station did an article on their website for the say top 10 best cleaning companies in the area, and in that article, the reader could click on a link and it would bring them to your website. That would be considered one backlink from one referring domain. Now, there's a lot of different types of websites that can link back to yours, any kind of blog or posting sites, press releases. However, one very important and powerful one is what's called a citation. Now, a citation is any time that your name, address, and phone number appear in an online directory. Those include Yelp, Yellow Pages, Better Business Bureau, these directories are usually always free. It just takes some time to find them, register your business, and then input the information exactly as it's shown in Google. So you can see by the number of links that these have created from different websites, Google has more trust and more authority in these websites over yours. However, it's something to note here is it's not just about the quantity of these links. It's also the quality. Certain links and certain websites are more spammy than others and not trusted. So we need to be going after websites that are more authoritative, but also at the same time relative to your industry or the services that you offer. Therefore, they'll be when you link back to them, they'll transfer some of that power and trust back into your website. Now, the second factor for ranking the website is the content on your page. So if we take a look here at the keywords, these are all the keywords and phrases that are being typed into Google search that are being found on your website, as, long, as well as the volume, the number of times per month they're being searched. So this is where we do a little bit of research to try to find the highest volume keywords relative to the services that you offer in the areas you want to service and make sure that those are being included on your site. So as you can see here, a lot of the keywords that are being found are when people are searching for you directly which is great, but that means that they already know your company. You're not getting any new customers from them. So if we were to take, say, a location-specific keyword like air duct cleaning in Winter Haven is being searched 40 times a month, duct cleaning in Winter Haven 40 times a month. So right there, about 80 searches per month. And right now you're on the 21st, so that's going to put you on third page, 43rd, which on the fifth page of Google. If your website was on the first page, 80 people a month will be searching and finding your website. Now we're usually pretty conservative and Google Analytics says about 10% of total search volume converts into a lead for the business. So you're looking at eight potential new leads coming in every month just off of this one service and this one keyword phrase in one location. So then we repeat that same process for all the different types of services in all the areas you wanna be found for and obviously each job is a little bit different as far as the profit margin, but you can see how the sheer volume of number of leads coming into the business can add up to some revenue at the end of the week, end of the month, and at the end of the year. Now there is a formula that Google uses to find these keywords on your site. So if we take a look at the page here, uh, as far as the layout, I feel like it looks pretty good. We've got all the information a customer can want right at the top of the screen. You can book right through their website. There's also at the top a nice click to call, so it appears to be mobile optimized. Um, as far as the rest of the site, however, what I'm seeing is there just isn't a whole lot of content. And the reason why that's a problem is because when Google crawls the website, it can't really understand pictures, doesn't care about the layout. It's just going to come in and count all the words and text on the page. 
Now it's generally looking for a minimum of about 1500 words because it assumes that the more information you have on the page, the more of an expert you are, and then the more likely it is to recommend you. Now, while it's counting the words, it's searching for those keywords, and be any of the services that you offer and the locations you offer it in. Now, this is where the number of words on the page really comes into play because you're only allowed to have one of those keywords for every 150 words of text on the page. So the more services or locations or keywords in general that you want to be found for in search means the more content that you have to add to the page in order to qualify for that keyword. So if we take a look at the search results here, the first thing that's going to come up is the, what's called the map pack. Now I did see that you had a Google business profile set up so you will show up in here. Uh, I just went through a couple pages of it and I didn't see it in there. So there are ways to optimize your listing so that way you can try to get into these top three, which is pretty beneficial because being at the top of the search results, a lot of traffic comes directly to these sites because it's the first thing that a customer sees. So to optimize that, you want to make sure you're filling out all the information that you can, all the services you offer, your address, your areas of operation, even the hours. And then in your business description, you're allowed about 750 characters. We want to put some keywords in there and completely fill that out as well. Then what you want to do is get photos that are geotagged and located within your service area as well as posts to your Google profile on a regular basis. Collect as many reviews as you can, and then you want to get as many of those citations, your name, address, and phone number. You want to be listed in more directories than anybody else on this list. So then underneath that section, this is what we call the organic search results. This is where the more authority or trust that Google has in your site, the higher up on the list you're going to rank. So this is where getting more of those links or referrals from other websites will help you climb and outrank the competition. Then, once the website is ranked here, you'll be getting all that search volume and all those leads coming into the business every month. Now, I hope this information was helpful and it shows you how you can scale some of your online presence, but please feel free to reach out if you have any questions or if you'd like to go into any further details. We could talk about some of your goals for the business and then we can do some research on my end to find out what it would take for you to reach those. I appreciate your time and look forward to speaking with you.